which was made up of his surfing buddies. To begin with, Hobie thought R&D stood for recreation and deductions. Hobie's research and development was not in a lab, but in his favorite place, the ocean. In 1971, the Hobie 16 was introduced and quickly became the second most popular sailboat in the world. Today, it is the most popular sailboat in the world. The 16-footer was similar in design to the 14, but with a second sail, a hiking trapeze, and built for two people. Here's Hobie and Phil Edwards doing some R&D. In 1976, the Hobie 18 was introduced, taking sailors even faster and higher. In this case, R&D stands for Risk and Danger. In his spare time, Hobie and some of his friends took up model gliders. Tired of helping his friends assemble their gliders and convinced he could build one simpler and better, he did. Enter the Hobie Hawk. In 1981, after selling over 150,000 catamarans, Hobie designed and built a 33-foot monohull. A lot of people were surprised. Why a monohull? Oh, I always decided uh, it'd be nice to build one of these. I, I think maybe you get a little older in uh, sailing and you want to sit down, put your feet down, stay a little drier, take a cooler along with you, and just uh, maybe take it a little, little bit easier. And it's a different style of sail. I still like both. The catamarans are a lot of fun and it's nice to have a nice leisurely day out on a, on a monohull. And I think it represented a new challenge. Uh, somehow I, I think building a catamaran builder, uh, they didn't consider you a real boat builder and uh, making a monohull, you're building a real boat. The Hobie 33 was different in design than most monohulls. It had a retractable keel, an easy to step mast, was simple to trailer and launch. The boat needed some testing, so the R&D department hauled it down to the water and dropped it from 12 feet. Hobie's designs and tests are almost always simple and to the point. Here's Crash, cruising around a little while later, no leaks. In 1984, Hobie Cat designers John Wake and Phil Edwards came up with a power skip. It was great for fishing, water skiing, or just plain cruising. Let's go to the Hobie Cat factory and find out how Phil Edwards goes about designing boats. I actually make the model into a, a working model, like that's what this is. And it, I used to have a mast and a sail. And, and I even have a little Barbie doll that was in the trapeze that happened to be scaled for the for this size. And then uh, they, based on this model, then they approve it as a full-size project. Once approved, the process of building a boat, like a surfboard, is mostly done by hand. The Hobie Cat factory makes virtually every part themselves.
The boats are assembled and disassembled to make sure everything fits. They are packed as separate units so the customer doesn't have the Christmas morning assemble the swing set nightmares. The Hobie 17 was introduced in 1985. It was a high-tech version of the original 14-footer. A single-man boat featuring retractable dagger boards, hiking racks, and vertical cut mylar sails. Like its predecessors, it was fun and fast. But it does take some wind. In 1988, a 21-foot Hobie Cat was built, the fastest yet. The Hobie 21 was chosen Boat of the Year by Sail Magazine. It was one of two boats selected to compete in the newly formed Professional Sailing Series, a series of boat races where they compete for $500,000 in prize money. This is one of the events held on San Francisco Bay. The name Hobie had become a household word. A company was formed to make a line of sportswear that reflected the Hobie image. Hobie Apparel uses the latest manufacturing technology and delivers some of the most innovative fashions. The Hobie image had come to symbolize the California lifestyle, the beach, the surf, the sun, and most of all, fun. One thing an outdoor person really needs is a good pair of sunglasses. So Hobie's eldest son decided to make his own. He developed optically perfect glass lenses laminated with a polarizing film to cut out 100% of the sun's ultraviolet rays. The most recent innovation by Hobie is his largest and most unique boat design to date, the Hobie 60, a sleek 60-foot motor-driven catamaran able to sleep eight, cruise at 20 knots with a range of 6,000 miles. It's due to be launched in the fall of 1989. This newest design by Hobie has the yachting world buzzing with excitement. After everything he'd built to date, why a 60-foot power catamaran? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I've been playing around with a 46-foot uh, monohull, power monohull, and uh, you find it a little tippy. A few things, it just doesn't ride as nicely as it should, and I guess you sit out there with nothing to do, and you start thinking, I can make one better than that. And um, So uh, well, I'll make a model of it. So I made a model, and that'll get it out of my system. And I'll, kind of like the model, I thought well, maybe we'd really like a real one, and so uh, two and a half years later and a couple of bucks, um, here we are. Beginning as a 16-year-old shaping surfboards in his garage to Hobie stores worldwide, Hobie became a virtual legend in any sport he touched. What next? It's pretty corny, but Hobie loves to try and build a better mousetrap. I'm glad I'm not a mouse. <laughs>